Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome to Lake, where we are starting our second week as the mail delivery person here in Providence Oaks. Let's get in and uh, start the day. Top of the morning, P.O. Complaints in Monday mornings, the perfect combo. P.O. Positive or Pet Peeves? Take it away, Bert. Morning, JR. I'm afraid it's a pet peeve from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear. Oh, I thought it would keep going. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt that. I, I seriously thought it would keep going. Um. Even though we are looking at the map here. I was just wondering which way to turn and where to go. Hmm. Don't have any. Oh, we do actually have another letter to deliver to the campground and then we've got a parcel over here a couple of letters over here so maybe we'll go deliver the parcel first and then um or maybe actually we'll go deliver the letter first. Yeah, that makes sense. So we need to turn left and then left. Bert, just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Enjoy your day and the music. Yeah, no music for us, unfortunately, because it is copyright protected. But, um, hopefully that's fine. Is it here where we need to deliver the letter? I think it is. And then we just need to keep on following this street. Right. Actually, we do need to turn here. We need to turn left. Oops. Got another letter. Or... Over here. And then we've got a package. Or... Just over... Over here, I think. Oh, yeah, package. Uh, East 1st Street. That one. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. I gotta remember to take pictures as well. Hmm. 
A couple more pictures and then we can take the camera back. So, now. Oh yeah, we gotta go here as well. For the uh, movies. Let's go there first. Once we've picked up the movies, we'll, um... Hmm, I guess we could go to the campground from there. You're not on your boat at the moment, are you? No. So, are you... are you up here then? You are? Hello. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. Glad you liked it. Not my cup of tea, to be honest. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Alright. Should we just take this back before we do anything else? Hmm. I'm kind of tempted because, to be honest, I, I want to go see Angie again and see if we can figure out what's going on with her. See if she's in a bit more of a sharing mood today. Yeah. I kind of want to go do that. And like, we can autopilot uh, to like pretty close to that location, right? If we look at the map here. Well, I guess we can autopilot, autopilot straight to there, actually. So that works out. Yeah, I want to know what's going on with Angie. I am curious about the campground couple as well. But uh, if we can hear more about why Angie is so stressed out. Like what's on her mind. That'll be great. Almost there. Here we are. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, that's why the camera didn't move. So, um, pick that up. And G, how are you doing today? Here's 
your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. Nah. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I nah. mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Aww, Angie. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your <laughs> labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? I'm definitely in. I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Aww. It's a shame that the business isn't doing well, but I'm glad that that's all it was. And I'm glad we get to see Angie again tonight. I really like her. So, where to next? I guess I gotta zoom out a bit. Well, I mean, the campground is pretty not so close at the moment, though. I guess I should go here first and then maybe like teleport to here to the motel to take the parcel there and make the campground my last stop of the day. Hmm. I think I'll do that so I'll teleport here and then um We gotta do this. And we've got... I think it was like a couple of letters that we had. Or over here someplace. Okay, we're coming up on the first one. Is it right here? Where's their mailbox? Is it this one? The next one is a little ways further. Yeah, got a turn. Car service. Is it right here? Oh, 
All right. I think it's the hotel next. Or motel. Or, you know. Uh, this place over here. Can I just autopilot? I can. I'm going to do that. We can just relax and enjoy the scenery. Lori's working. I do hope she did actually enjoy the movie. Even though she said she didn't. But that may have just been like a teenager thing. Hopefully. I wonder if the clerk is uh, playing that computer game again. I wonder if it's the same game as last time. I guess we'll find out when we get there. It isn't too much further. I think. Here we are. Pick up the package. And... Hello? Hello, sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? Um... It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Well, I'd appreciate it if the clerks here actually did their jobs. And, uh, you know, received... those parcels. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Are you sure you're not just playing a game? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. Got mail? No? Then why are you still here? Okay. Well, I tried. He's not going to uh, start being civil anytime soon then. Right. So... Let's go see some pretty scenery at the campground. We can autopilot there too. Oh, right. I need to take pictures. Two more pictures. I guess I'll take those at the campground. It is really pretty. Uh, 
And here we are already. Where is it going to park us? Right here. I guess I could take a picture of like the uh, mountain up there. There we go, all pictures taken. Now, to deliver the mail. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. Still enjoying life off the grid? Sure am. Although, Mickey had a rough night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Oh. Um. Yikes. I well, guess bad trips happen. Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. Canada? For good? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know. And talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Yeah, see ya. That'll be... different. And interesting. Maybe we'll get to hear a bit more about their story. You know, um, where exactly they're coming from and, uh, where exactly they're... Well, I guess we do know that they're going to Canada, but, like, why exactly they're going to Canada, right? Back to the post office. So, do we take the camera back tomorrow? I guess. Tomorrow will be Tuesday, so... Day after tomorrow. Socializing with the uh, campground couple. Who knows, maybe they, maybe they will share a bit of their life stories. That'd be nice. Oh, and tonight we've got a date with Angie. That'll be nice too. 
Looking forward to that. Just gotta take this van to the post office first. Here we are. Monday evening. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Uh, yeah. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the Post Service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Um... Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, you tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. What a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Um... It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? Uh, both, actually. I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama Slammers, cheers! Ooh, movie night. This is fun. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? Oh, I get to choose. Well, I mean... I guess I'm fine with whatever. You're the one who's having a stressful situation. You choose. You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. Alright, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. Ooh. Alright, I'm ready to pick. Mouse Detective. The Great Mouse Detective. Wouldn't have picked you for a Disney fan. Oh well, let's get in touch with our inner child. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, but it's a mouse. <laughs> How do they come up with this stuff? I don't know, but I had a blast. Aw, that mouse detective really brought out your inner child. You ever thought about having children, by the way? Wow, you just come right out asking the tough questions, don't you? I don't think it's that tough a question. But then I guess I knew pretty early on that it wasn't going to be in the cards for me. So anyway... My parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. 
By process of elimination, I detect that we need to take a right here, dear Dawson. Mm. I don't like either of these. I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. You mean driving around in a mail truck? Sure. Park it anywhere around the lake and then just enjoy the sunset. That does sound kind of nice, though. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. Elementary, my dear Angie. <laughs> Aww. Meredith, can I bug you for a second? So yeah, Tuesday morning and uh, Frank. Do we now get to hear more about what uh, what the Monday morning thing was about? Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy. Uh, what did he want from you? Um. He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? Eh, they're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Okay. Well, um... I'd say that was a pretty successful date with Angie. Nice. And I guess we're going to see Robert today. Hmm. Wonder what that's all about. Um... What exactly do we have here on the map? Is that the Robert thing? Talk to Robert in the forest. Oh, we have a lot of mail to deliver kind of around the, um, the town center area today. Then there's the parcel to the diner. Uh, oh, and a letter to all the way over here. Okay. Well, we'll get into that in the next episode, but for now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you again next time. <laughs>